hello everyone uh, this video is on a peco in a mid dilated pupil uh, with relatively softer cataract uh, grade was around uh, sclerosis 1 to 2 so uh, after making the side ports stain the capsule now injecting viscoelastics and uh, now fashioning the main tunnel corneal tunnel clear corneal tunnel now initiated initiating my capsulorexis with the band 26 gauge cystitome so aim is to do a capsule of uh, uh, between uh, 4.5 to 5 making the keeping the flap flat every time so the axis is completed now so doing a uh, hydro procedure before that I just debulk the uh, urinary chamber you can see the fluid wave and now checking for the rotation now started my feco emulsification uh, doing a short trench now uh, I'm using this constellation feco machine here making a short trench with the parameters and now I'm doing uh, the chop as the cataract is uh, on the relatively softer side, I have reduced the power because uh, too much power uh, may, I mean, if the, if the power is too much in the tip, may impale through the nucleus and can uh, pierce through the posterior capsule. So I have com uh, completed my chop here. is the last chop and now I've started uh, taking out each pie doing quadrant emulsification so now I have changed my chopper to a blunt instrument Sinsky hook and uh, continued quadrant emulsification with the parameters mentioned here here also I've kept the power relatively uh, lower side the pupil size has maintained well it is not uh, uh, it, I mean it did not came down here's the last piece so now uh, while initiating my uh, irrigation aspiration, you can see that there is a chunk of epinucleus. So I decided to remove it uh, with the help of your visco uh, elastics only. Because otherwise if I go ahead and I use my baminal irrigation aspiration to remove that chunk, sometimes uh, it will clog the aspiration tip or sometimes uh, the broken pieces of epinucleus can uh, run here and there and can hide under the iris and uh, definitely they will cause some uh, problem in the post period in the form of recurrent arthritis or CME so a few threads of cortex were there on the post capsule they are also being removed and the remaining is removed with the help of hydrojet chamber formed with uh, viscoelastics and a foldable single device dial is placed within the capsular bag you can see the slow unfolding of the eye well now before initiating the visco removal Hydrating the pores, going below the eye well to remove viscoelastics from inside the bag. So now the chamber is well formed. Thank